Hey, it's Crafty Kitty. I'm here to share with you the story of my first, very first turkey. And so I'm going to tell you, oop, well, hello there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so today is Thanksgiving in Canada. So I'd like to wish everybody a happy turkey day. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about that. So happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian subscribers. Hope you had fun today. Hope you had to eat a lot of turkey. I uh, hope you enjoyed being with family and friends. So let's get on to the story. So here is basically my husband used to do all the cooking for turkey and stuff. And then one year he decided I had to do it. And I was like, I don't know about cooking no turkeys, you know? So anyways, I did what any good person would do. I called my mom and she told me what to do. She told me to butter it up and I was talk. I was like, you're a good turkey. You look like a good turkey. You're a very awesome turkey. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. And the next thing she told me was to, you know, make sure it was dressed properly. And I was like, well, it's dead, mom. It doesn't really matter if it's wearing clothes or not. And she's like, really? And I was like, <laughs> kidding. Once again, I understand what she meant. So uh, basically what I did was um, she told me I was supposed to paint butter, put it all on the outside of the turkey. And that would help it cook really nicely and later on and whatever else and keep it juicy. So I was like, okay. So I did what she told me. I had it all greased up with the butter, everything. The one thing she failed to mention was that I should have had it in the roaster already when I was buttering it up and telling him how good he looked and everything. But yeah, so it wasn't. So of course I went to grab this turkey. Man, I have never seen a dead bird move faster than that. It went from zero to 60 down my counter and cor cornered a bit and went into the sink. <laughs> Not a word of a lie. I am serious. I was just like, what happened? <laughs> Where'd my turkey go? Sure enough, I had to walk over there. This time I thought, well, I better bring the roaster with me. So I brought the roaster with me. Took the turkey. Managed to slide that slippery sucker into the actual roasting pan. I was like, you stay there. <laughs> and it did. It stayed there. It didn't go anywhere else. So next came the dressing. I didn't, I have never made stuffing before. Uh, once again, talked to dear old mom and um she said okay so you buy a bag of stuffing now a bag of stuffing is about this big i don't know how many cups are in there probably about eight or nine cups of cup stuffing she said you you take the whole bag you do a bunch of different things where you add like butter and uh saute some onions and celery and you mix all the spices together and then you pour that in with a little bit of hot water and it gives it really good flavor and I was like okay I can do that I use a whole bag that's why I can tell people are going the whole bag yeah but I never made stuff before so I didn't know this but so I made the whole bag and when I grew up there was always stuffing in the bird but there was always stuffing on the side but that could have been because we were a huge family you know I got lots of brothers and sisters not to mention cousins and aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews who would all show up too. And uh, for supper, for Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving or whatever holiday happened to be being celebrated. So I made all the stuffing, put in the bird. Mom said, don't forget the front cavity of the bird as well. So I shoved some in there as well. And then I realized, well, there's not very much stuffing left. So how come I'll make a little package of it in and just put it in the oven with it like that. So, okay, fine. It wasn't as much as I remember it should be. So that's fine. Everything's cooking fine. Finally gets time. You got to take the tin foil off the bird so that you can let it get kind of golden and whatever else. So I did that, basted it a little bit. And then I was just walking away and all of a sudden I heard this pop. Maybe not, maybe not that, maybe pop, pop, pop. That, that's more like, Poof. that's what I heard. <laughs> Something similar to that at any rate. And I was like, what is that sound? Pretty sure it came from the oven. So I went, of course, thinking, hmm, well, it'd been in there a little bit of time. So, and it was kind of golden on, it was nice and golden on top. And uh, I think I had the one that had the little thermometer that tells you when the bird is done. So it was up. 
<laughs> and I thought, Mom. So I pulled the bird out of the oven. Look. And my bird had exploded. Mm -hmm. It exploded. It went poof, just like that. Now, we're not talking kablooey all over the place. We're talking like it went poof. It It just went poof, right in half. So basically, my bird was cut in half. And I was like, what the heck happened? Hey. So, of course, I called Mom. <laughs> And I was like, Mom, my turkey exploded. <laughs> and when she stopped laughing, she says to me, she says, how much stuffing did you put in that bird? And I said, I filled it up. I said, I used all, all the stuffing. She's like, oh, you're not supposed to use all the stuffing. You're supposed to just lightly pack it in there. And when the cavity's full, that's when you don't put any more. I was like, you never said that. I took those eight or nine cups of stuffing and I crammed it into that bird and it was in there good. So, lesson learned. Ask more questions when you're trying to get instructions from your mom because she ain't giving them up for nothing, you know. <laughs> pretty sure she got a pretty good laugh on that, but yeah, literally. So I had a dead bird that went zero to 60, slid down my counter, and then it exploded in the oven. And that is the story of my first turkey. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this story. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And once again, happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian subscribers. Let's all get crafty. Bye-bye.